If there was ever a time in the state of Texas that the profession of chiropractic was in jeopardy, it is now. Without your support, all of the commitment you've made to your patients, to your family, could be in jeopardy. We need your support now. My name is Dr. Paul Emil Lichty. I practice in Mesquite, Texas. I practice there since 1982. Been licensed by the Texas Board of Chiropractic Examiners since 1980. We need to have a procedure and legislation passed to limit the insurance company's ability to do extended post-payment reviews and audits and extractions of money from doctors' practices. Here's my story. Approximately 2010, I've been treating patients as a preferred provider for Aetna for many years, and they asked me for records from 2005, five years earlier. So unsuspectingly, I sent them my records on 10 different patients. The peer review people working for Aetna found that my documentation of my 2005 patients did not meet their current standards. So they found that of the 10 cases, seven of the 10 did not meet their standards for documentation. They wrote me a letter several months later and they said, Dr. Lichty, 70% or seven out of the 10 cases we reviewed do not meet our expectation for documentation and treatment notes. So therefore, we have we have postulated that 70% of all the payments we've made you since 2005 have been made in error. So please send us a check for $250,000 in the next 30 days, no personal checks accepted. So immediately I got on the horn to my attorney, Larry Laurent down in Texas in Austin, and I said, Larry, help me with this problem. I had to spend tens of thousands of dollars worth of legal bills. After two years, finally Aetna agreed to take a token payment, as they call it, token payment of $25,000 in order to release me from the uh, nightmare that they'd put me in for two years. So I paid the $25,000 to Aetna. In exchange for that, they gave me a clear bill of health. They said there was no fraud on my part of any of the billings I'd submitted from 2005 to 2010. It wasn't about 30 days later, the next carrier that Aetna told my story to was Blue Cross and Blue Shield. Blue Cross and Blue Shield did the same thing. They asked me for notes of 10 patients or 15 patients, I believe it was. And I, I this time before I sent them the notes, I hired a, a chiropractic consultant named Dr. Jin Jo, who is an orthopedic surgeon, now practicing chiropractic and now working on the insurance uh, claims from the chiropractors. He came into my office. We did several weeks of review of our note-taking system. We brought them all into compliance under current regulations. And then Dr. Jin Jo sent a 35-page letter to Blue Cross and Blue Shield explaining that my notes were in perfect order, everything is happy, there was no, no fraud committed by Dr. Lichty at American Chiropractic Clinic in Mesquite, Texas. Soon thereafter, Blue Cross and Blue Shield wrote me a letter stating, some, and I summarize it, uh, you have done nothing wrong, we're sorry we interfered with your practice, Dr. Lichty, your notes are all in order. Then about 60 days later, I get another post-payment audit notice from United Healthcare. Fortunately, I had Dr. Jin Jo working on my side, so we sent them a letter from Dr. Jin Jo explaining our note-taking and our, our documentation procedures, and then United Healthcare also wrote me a letter and said, you've done nothing wrong, the case is closed, just like Blue Cross and Blue Shield wrote me. Allstate uh, Car Insurance Company wrote me a letter in December of 2010, they stated, that over the last 10 years, all your claims have been reviewed. We have paid you, Allstate has paid you a total of $150,000 for treating auto uh, insurance uh, injury patients. And we found, according to our new, new peer review people, 
that 135,000 of that was paid in error. So send us a check for $135,000 or we will file this lawsuit. And they showed me a lawsuit, documentation, paperwork, that thick that they accused me of insurance fraud, they accused me of violating the Texas Chiropractic Act, they accused me of several different uh, violations and several different felonies, actually. So then I got my attorney in Dallas who had defended uh, a chiropractic clinic from an all-state attack years earlier, and I said, what do I do with this? My attorney sat me down, he said, listen, here's the story, Paul. I've been through your clinic and your records for years. You have not committed any fraud. Allstate is simply trying to extract money from you for the service they've paid you over the last 10 years. He said, now if we fight Allstate, it will cost you about $250,000 in legal fees. You will have to pay that on a monthly basis to me to defend your clinic against Allstate. Allstate has already told you they will settle your claim for $135,000 and they'll even give you terms of $5,000 a month until the $135,000 is paid. So my health care attorney said you have no choice, you have no choice except to pay Allstate what they're extracting from you. He said it is illegal and it is uh, totally fraudulent on Allstate's part to demand this kind of money since they've already paid the claims and the claims have already been reviewed over the last 10 years, but they hold the big hammer. So you have no choice but to pay Allstate. So that's exactly what I did. I spent $135,000 repaying Allstate for every claim they had paid my clinic over the last 10 years. And I did that in order to avoid a five-year court battle and at least $250,000 in legal fees that I simply can't afford to pay. So for that, those reasons, I think it's very important that the legislature of the state of Texas pass a law limiting an insurance company's time period where they can do post-payment reviews possibly to one year. Medicare requirements require us as providers to bill all our claims in a one-year time period. If we don't bill a claim to Medicare in a year, we lose the ability to claim anything from the patient's Medicare account. So I think it's only fair that we only give the insurance companies one year to do a post-payment review and audit trying to extract money from the doctors. Again, my name is Paul Lichty. I practice in Mesquite, Texas, American Chiropractic Clinic. Thank you for giving me this opportunity to share my story with you.